Okay, so next one is about PG students' life in Japan. Mm. And I'm going to ask you about your PG, PG student life in Japan. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is a different project. So, can you yourself? Can you introduce yourself, Patri? Okay, so again, right. Um, mm. My name is Tuanon Patrathanasu. Uh, you can just call me D. And I'm a PhD student at Wasanda University in Japan now. And right now I do research about transnational youth activism in Asia. Mm -hmm. I try to see the connectivity between youth activists in this region. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is what, what I'm working on for my PhD dissertation. Mm -hmm. yeah. And why did you choose your PhD topics of research? Mm -hmm. I would say like, I choose this topic because I think this topic reflects my identity. Mm -hmm. Because I'm, I'm, I'm half Thai Taiwanese, my dad's Taiwanese, my mom is Thai. Mm -hmm. And I studied PhD in Japan, so I think like it's made me have a really good opportunity to explore the connectivity, mm -hmm. the cross national connectivity in this region because I have a connection with at least three countries in this, mm -hmm. in this region. So yeah, that's why I choose this topic. Mm -hmm. And I find it really interesting. And I think in the last year, there are so many. Protests in Asia, mm -hmm. like Hong Kong, Taiwan, Thailand, Myanmar, Indonesia, Malaysia. So that's why I find this topic really interesting mm -hmm. to do. Why did you? What kind of? What is the major reason to come to study in Japan? Mm, I would say I really like Japanese uh, academic culture. Mm -hmm. So I think different countries have different academic culture, and I really like Japan one because mm -hmm. Japan is. Because on things find empirical mm. data compared to the ways like US that they're gonna care more about theory. Mm. I think Japan this society care more about empirical data and they really like that. Data. Like mm. finding my data, data more than talking about theory. Mm. Yeah, I think and I think Japanese professor is more flexible. Mm. I mean like they're gonna give you freedom to do whatever you want. Mm. But just have to visual sure one time. Mm. But but like if in the West they're gonna the professor is going to come to like instruct you in every process. Mm -hmm. So I prefer the one that I have more freedom to do mm -hmm. my work. No, no, no. Oh, mm -hmm. you think that in Japan you have a lot of, you think you have, you can get mm -hmm. the freedom to, yeah. to do your research. Yeah, and another reason is, is about financial reason. Mm -hmm. I think I feel like Japanese government give a lot of scholarship oh, to foreign really? students. Mm -hmm. With research funding, but in the ways that like, think some countries don't really give. Mm -hmm. So at the end, we have to pay everything by ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the study PhD spend a lot of money because you have to spend study like mm -hmm. at least three to four years. Mm -hmm. So if we get some scholarship or funding, it's gonna be much. Mm -hmm. It's gonna save a lot of money. Oh, Japan is not too far from Thailand, Thailand. Mm -hmm. so it's quite convenient if I want to go back to Thailand or. I still it's it's all it's all, it's easier for me to contact with people mm -hmm. in Thailand because even live in the US, right? Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. morning in the US is night time in Thailand. Yeah, so mm -hmm. so like, I cannot really call my mom mm -hmm. or contact my family in Thailand, or my friend in Thailand. So living in Japan is much more mm -hmm. like it's easier to keep connection with people in Thailand. That's why I choose to come. I think a physical kind of distance yeah. from Thai uh, Asian countries and Japan is quite not so Long, yeah. longer than you know other Europe, so maybe it's a good idea too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I agree. Like, mm. like, you see, it's not really easier for me to go back to Thailand. Mm. It's easier for my family to visit. Yes. Mm. Yeah, your family also. Yeah, I think like, most of Asian country mm. have free visa to Japan. Mm. Like even go study in US, like now I really could have a visa. Yes, yes. To go to US, mm. but no, even in, works. Yeah, in Japan, like she can just come mm. and stay for a few weeks or something like that. Mm. Are there, any, are, there, are there any advantage of studying in Japan for Asian people? For Asian people? Mm. Um, I think it really depends on... I think one, one thing is that we're going to more get used to food in Japan. Food? Yeah, I think one reason I found... I mean, some of my go to study in Europe or in the US, and the, the thing that everyone complains is food is really bad. Mm. And at the end, like they lose a lot of weight mm -hmm. because they cannot really eat like European food. But in Japan, like I think at this food in Japan is the taste is more familiar to Asian people. Mm -hmm. So it is like 
quite good for us. Mm. I mean, it's okay for us. I mean, I'll say, and you can have good food to eat mm. in Japan. And the second is that um, they don't have a discrimination. I mean, I mean, and and I don't say they don't have because every honestly yeah, yeah. there's a just like a discrimination to a foreigner mm. in Japan, right? But I mean, they don't gonna know. They not gonna. Do, they cannot recognize that from our apparent. Mm. I mean, if we want to roll, they still think we are Japanese, mm. so we're not going to get the discrimination. But sometimes you go to the Western country, mm. you might get discrimination or roll because you're Asian. Mm. Yeah, and I think we're going to, and people who live in Asia, I think the good thing for Asian society in Japan is that we're going to understand more, we understand more about the culture here. Mm. Because our culture is not that different. So it's not, not that hard for us to adopt to the life in Japan. Mm. Yes, yes, I think it's got it's much easier to get used to Asian people to live in Japan. Yeah. Because, yeah, as you say, food, yeah. you're going to have to, you know, a lot of stress. <laughs> oh. Just think I eat hamburger every day, mm. I feel tired. <laughs> okay, as, as a PhD student in Japan, do you have, uh, do you have any difficulties in living in Japan? Difficulty to live in Japan mm. as a student. Um, difficulty. Um, I would say like Tokyo is too fancy. Fancy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like it's a good one. <laughs> I mean, like for PhD students, like some people uh, you study in like very rural area, like, uh, and for so if you see Ivy League university in the US, mm. most of them is in rural area, mm. like. Connects in the middle of nowhere. So actually like for study, like I mean, for PhD student, maybe live, living in the rural areas might better for you because okay. you have nothing to do, so you just like concentrate on study. You need that isolated, you know? You need yeah. that But Tokyo is too fancy mm. because like, oh there are many things I wanna do apart from study. <laughs> <laughs> so so I have to try to control like control myself. Mm. And there are some <laughs> attractive things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh it's then it's Sakula season, I have to go to see Sakula and then mm. oh they have Hanabi season, I have to go to see Hanabi. Oh, there are Masli here, I have to go to see Masli. My friend is studying in rural area, nothing, so just study. Just study. What is hard about living in Japan for mm. as a student? Um, I think like if you are not in academic, like, mm. for academic reason, I think like if you are not, if you cannot read Japanese, mm. sometimes it's quite hard for you to find textbook here. Oh. Because of, they, well, if you go to write only like fifty percent, I think maybe twenty percent of textbook gonna be in Japanese. Exactly. Every, a little bit English, so if you don't speak good English, sometimes it's gonna. I mean, if you don't speak good Japanese, sometimes it'll be quite hard for you to access mm. to the book or to the data mm. in Japan. Mm. What was your view of Japan when you came here? I mean, studying in Japan, right? Mm. Um, actually, I thought, I thought it's gonna be very pressure, pressure. and very, how to say, very straight. Because when we, as a foreigner, when we see Japan, we're gonna see, oh, people have to, people have to work very really serious, mm. so they have to do OT a lot. But when they come to study Japan, it's different mm. feeling, right? Student life Japan is much more relaxed. Mm -hmm. It's not like you have to go to university every day and study until midnight. So at, at, in Japan, I think it's more easier to adjust your like your study schedule. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really depend on yourself and it's not very really pressure like what I think. Mm -hmm. okay. Could you share how you spend weekend, a weekdays and weekends? As PhD student. <laughs> um, I would say like I, I try to work, do everything on weekday, mm -hmm. like study, writing thesis, read a book, and only I just gonna go to spend time outside, mm -hmm. like go to do something else. Yeah, yeah. But I think like as a PhD student, so sometimes our schedule is quite flexible. Mm -hmm. So it'll be like if you're some if you are someone who don't want to travel on the weekend, mm -hmm. I mean I have to travel on the weekend because my girlfriend is working now. Mm -hmm. So I have to go on the weekend, but for someone who don't who stay alone, maybe you can adjust your schedule. And like we, you, you gonna you work only on Wednesday to Sunday, mm -hmm. and try on Monday to Tuesday. But Monday to Tuesday have lesser people. Yeah, yeah. So it's really depends on how you manage mm -hmm. the time. But 
don't use all your time on study. And then use all your time on travel. Like you still have to study. Nice one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just go for as a for board, I guess. Yeah. For study part, I feel like the most memorable thing is study in Japan. I mean, uh, and my answer may be not start academic at all, mm. but I really like that the begin the start of semester is start with the Sakura season. Uh, in April. In, in April. Japan. I mean, like when I was young, I watched a lot of Japanese anime, mm -hmm. <laughs> and when this every you experience in real life is really like touching. Like <laughs> you go to school on the first day. And then a sakura. Um, it's like you know, you see this in like in mm -hmm. in cut in like anime, but this is really happening. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> like oh my god, this is really touching for me. And also like and so <laughs> studying for going to Thailand we study semester is like summer season. Oh. So it's super hot. <laughs> oh, it is in September? But in Thailand the hottest month like gonna be May, April May. Oh. May. And we study semester in May. May also oh, hot. Yeah, yeah. And so, graduation ceremony in Japan mm -hmm. is in Sakura season. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's really like memorable for me, really. Mm -hmm. I would say we fought for we fought Japanese or so, but for you know, it's really like, oh, mm -hmm. this is right. This one, is right. One, 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 one's a life experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, what changes do you think should be made in Japan to make it more attractive? Mm. To Asian people who study in Japan. Mm. What change mm. you think? Like, what you do? I think like Japan have to create a system that much more friendly to non-Japanese speaker. Mm -hmm. I would say like sometimes I find it's really hard for uh, people who not speak Japanese mm. to live in Japan. And like was being most of like official document in Japan mm. or like even some university websites mm. in Japan don't even have English. Mm. So it's like I mean although like most of foreigners who come to Japan they might know some Japanese, mm. but I think it would be better like if you if they have some they have some document in English because at the end like I think like in English and lingua franca. Mm. So like if they are more English. English thing in Japan, mm. it's easier for them to live here. And also, I, I, did, mm, I think sometimes Japanese system is a little bit... Awkward? <laughs> Old? Um, yeah, like mental side or something like <laughs> that. Because they have to do a lot of document. Mm. I mean, no, everyone says that. Everyone yeah. says that. Yeah, yeah, we have to do a lot of document mm. and sometimes like... It's very really a little bit like complicated for us who don't really know how it's going on, what is what have we have to do in Japan. Mm -hmm. And if it's combined with that we we cannot speak good Japanese, mm -hmm. it's gonna be like super complicated for us. Mm -hmm. Like having no document in Japanese. Mm -hmm. It's really like, oh I don't know how to do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a language barrier is uh, Yeah, yeah. I think in Thailand also, you know, main main, main language is Thai. Yeah. So can you share some good things to for Jap Japan to learn from Thailand about kind of language areas? I think like in Thailand it's really easy to find English. Mm -hmm. Like if you go to a restaurant in Thailand, mm -hmm. even very really local one, mm -hmm. they got to have English menu. Mm -hmm. But in Japan, like even like the big restaurant, some people don't have Japan, don't have English menu. Mm -hmm. But in Thailand it's really easy to find English like mm -hmm. banner on the road like you go to a restaurant or you go to a supermarket they're gonna have English mm -hmm. the funniest part is that some restaurants in Thailand have English menu but don't have Thai menu oh <laughs> seriously? yeah 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 that's happened a lot my yeah. mom keep complaining about this that because my mom cannot speak English mm -hmm. so sometimes complain why did the restaurant don't have Thai menu oh. yeah yeah but in Thailand like many many places gonna have English mm -hmm. like English word yeah. Maybe we can learn from uh, from me. It's it's some um, new. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you, you have any tips or advice for young know, people who as who are thinking of studying in Japan? Mm, I would say that uh, you have to. My advice. Uh, 
think there are two main things. I think that's just really important for foreigners, not only Asian, but foreigners to live in Japan for this language. Mm-hmm. I think like if you know some Japanese before coming to Japan, it's going to make your life in Japan much more easier mm-hmm. and more enjoyable. Mm-hmm. And second is that I think before you come to Japan, you have to learn about Japanese manner. Manner. And I think Japanese manner is really mm-hmm. important. Mm-hmm. I mean, if I find most of most of foreigners who come to Japan, like, they don't know the manner in Japan. They don't know that they cannot talk the phone or the train. They don't know that um, um, you, sh- you should not, how to say, you cannot run on the escalator. Mm. So I think that if you know this kind of thing, it's going to make you, like, it's going to make Japanese people like, have a better mm. perception to what foreigner. Mm. And it's still going to make, like, you can like, adopt to this society mm. like, easier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this, this tool is really important, in my opinion. Like, even, yeah. What is the hardest manner to adjust? <laughs> the adjust, I think one thing I just found recently is that we cannot leave tissue in ramen restaurant. <laughs> ah, tissue? Oh. Because I eat in Thailand or in other country, after you, you can just leave a tissue on the table, right? Ah. But in Japan, you have to take tissue with you. Yeah, you, you and sometimes you need it. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe you can't throw. Like, yeah, that's uh, that is very. Really, yeah, I just knew that I live for four years. I'm very bad for it. <laughs> <laughs> just know that I live no for four years. I think another thing that if for more foreigners complain about Japan is that it's really hard to buy gar- find garbage can here. Oh. Um, so then, garbage can. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh. it ties everywhere. Oh. And then in US is everywhere, but in, mm-hmm. in Japan it's like mm. you have to take back home, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Mm. Ah, okay. So it could be a last question. So could you tell me your ambition and your dream to realize in Japan? My dream to realize mm-hmm. Japan? I want to get PhD. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is the same. Yeah. Same, same. As soon as possible. <laughs> um, um, okay, I'm going to talk about live party. I want to be foreign Japanese. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I already feel for him, I still not speak good. I still not master Jap- in Japanese, so I think like, I should accomplish this goal. And I think it's more with a tr- tourist part. Mm-hmm. I want to go to Haima Fuji. <laughs> Oh, and go to the like the, the summit. The top it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The top. Oh. And can can you share your um, plans for your life life plans? I mean, after get PhD. Mm-hmm. Do you want to work in Japan or do you want to mm-hmm. back to Thailand to work? I wanna try to find a job in Japan mm-hmm. first. If, if I heard that for PhD. Like, uh, it's not that hard for PhD student. Mm-hmm. I mean, people who have PhD degree to find job in Japan. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna try for it and see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll go in Japan. Yeah, and see right. Mm-hmm. What's going on? What's gonna happen over there? Let's see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.